Breaking news. Leader of the Yoruba Nation Agitation, Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho, has been arrested in Kotonou by security operatives in the country. The Yoruba Freedom Fighter was arrested on Monday night after fleeing Nigeria to evade arrest by Nigerian secret police. According to an undisclosed source, he had perfected plans to secretly escape from Nigeria through Kotonou and was heading to Germany. He was, however, nabbed by security operatives in the neighboring country. This came a few days after the federal government placed him on a stop list after it was gathered that he was trying to acquire a new passport to flee the country. A person whose name is on the stop list is denied all constitutional rights and privileges a citizen is entitled to. Igbo had also been declared wanted by the Department of State Services on allegations of stockpiling arms to destabilize the country. His house at Soka in Ibadan was raided by DSS, which led to the arrest and detention of 13 of Igboho's associates. Two of Igboho's supporters later identified as Adogan and Alpha were also killed during the raid. President Mohamed Buhari will not stop at anything. He has been going after the, the, the leaders of these two um, agitations in the country. We know um, Nam De Kano is still in detention, is still um, with the Department of State Services. Sunday Goho has been um, declared wanted, you know, after the raid at his Soka Ibadan uh, uh, um, house. DSS raided his apartment, in, all in the name that um, they gather information that he was stockpiling arms to destabilize the country. They went to his premises and they didn't even get a search warrant, but they went there and acted like um, criminals themselves, vandalized his property, also killed two of his supporters, arrested um, some persons from his premises as well. So they know how to arrest very well. Why have they not arrested um, the Fulani headsmen who are going about with AK-47, who are hacking innocent farmers to death, forcefully taking their lands, raping women, destroying, committing so much havoc? Such, such a shame what President Mohamed Buhari is up to. This is not the way to go about it. You know, he's been told before now, several times before now, that go through um, dialogue, have uh, um, talks with these people. So it's such an irony that President Mohamed Buhari can uh, actually dialogue with Fulani headsmen. He can negotiate with them. He can even grant them uh, uh, amnesty, bring them back into the society. Not just bringing them back into the society. Last year we heard a report when he brought back about 600 Boko Haram uh, uh, members who he claimed they've repented, brought them back into the society and was giving them monthly allowances it's such a shame it's such a pain so unfortunate that um, we're experiencing all of this buhari knows that these two agitations they are not the cause of uh, um, the insecurity in the country they are not the cause sunday Gua is not the cause of the rising insecurity in the country sunday Gua is even fighting for his people you know he, he rose to fame as a result of um, the decision he took that this will not happen fulani headsmen have to leave the gongo uh, um, community they have to leave his community we know he was the one that stood up that it is not happening gave the ultimatum for fulani headsmen to leave you know that was when he rose up his name and uh, he became popular again um since january after um Rotimi Akiridolo, you know, Rotimi Akiridolo of Ondo State was the one who gave the initial ultimatum for Fulani headsmen to evacuate the forest reserves. That was when Sunday Go followed suits for his own community. And ever since then, President Mohamed Buhari have not uh, uh, um, held back in pursuing him from one attack to another. His house was burnt down. Even they tried arresting him at some point, but that arrest was uh, um, foiled. His supporters did not allow that to happen. And when that um, arrest failed, obviously they would deny it. DSS denied it that uh, they were not responsible for that attempted arrest and all of that. They froze his account at one point. So he's been facing a lot. The most recent was this is a uh, um, Ibadan residence that was raided by the Department of State Service. And since then, he was um, placed uh, wanted. We've just got this report now that um, he's been uh, arrested in Benin Republic. Everyone knows that Sunday Go is fighting a just cause, fighting against um, the marginalization, 
the injustice in Buhari's um, government, the unfair um, policies of President Mohamed Buhari, even IPOB itself, they are fighting against. It's a just cause as well. We've seen um, well many Nigerians speaking for these two agitations, even people who are not from uh, their ethnicity. We saw Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn really, really criticizing President Mohamed Buhari after Anamdekanu was arrested that this is misplaced priority. Rather than going after Fulani Hetzmer, why chasing uh, um, Nam the Kano and Sunday Igbo misplaced priority? Well, um, Sunday Igbo was placed on a, uh, 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 a stop list. That stop list means that um, he doesn't leave the country. So every everyone is on alert, all the security agencies and even um, the nearby countries. So it was alleged that um, he was about fleeing the country, was about leaving to Germany. We know he also resides in Germany. It was about leaving to Germany when he was held in Cotonou, Bene Republic. Um, right now, is in the custody of the Department of uh, the State um, Services, DSS. We don't know what is going to happen right now. Most probably, they are going to start laying uh, uh, charges against him, just like they are doing with Anam Dekano at the moment. No, Anam Dekano was rearrested in Kenya. President Mohamed Buhari, um, his government, they've not released any statement yet. We know when Unam Dekanu was arrested, it was Malami, Abu Bakr Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, who broke the news. It was like, for them, it was a victory. I don't know what sort of victory they are celebrating, when they should be going after Boko Haram and bandits, clearing them up. Once they've succeeded, then come and celebrate that victory. This is not a victory to celebrate. There is no victory in this one because these two persons, they are not the cause of the problem of the country. They are not the cause. If Buhari had even supported um, what uh, uh, Southern governors talked about, the ban on open grazing, who knows if this agitation, if we see that, okay, changes are coming and policies are beginning to change and Buhari's and nepotism, you know, that was one of the other things Sonny Gro talked about, that Buhari's government is full of nepotism. That what crime did we commit that is unfair? It has to stop. It has to end that we are leaving, that we cannot continue this way anymore. But one thing we do know is that um, despite President Mohamed Buhari even um, detaining Enam de Kano, it has not stopped the pursuit for the, in, uh, the, the, the indigenous people of Biafra. It has not stopped their movement. Neither will the, the arrest on Sunday in Goho stop the, the agitation for Ududua nation. President Mohamed Buhari, we just, it's very obvious that um, he doesn't have any good plan for the country. And he's speaking about unity, fair, fair treatment, and oneness. All of these don't look like that. Well, one thing we do know is that um, every all of this um, attack on Sunday Igbo will not stop the move for uh, Ududua nation. Well, guys, this one has just dropped. It's a breaking news. Sunday Igbo has just been arrested in Cotonou, Benin Republic. Let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.